Hey, how's it going, dudes? What's up? Welcome back to the channel and your daily dose of Mortal Kombat 11 news leaks and discussions. Today, we're talking about Aftermath Part 2. Now, I had a swarm of people send me an article from, like, May of last year yesterday. I don't know why, but so many people sent me a damn article from last year yesterday. Someone, please, in the comments, let me know why that article was sent to me, like, 20 times yesterday. Please. Because... In the article, people are saying, hey, you know, Ed Boon officially deconfirmed uh, Aftermath Part 2. Any type of story expansion that could possibly come after Aftermath Part 1 for Mortal Kombat 11. He deconfirmed it right here. Uh, uh, no, he didn't. But either way, we'll get into that. If you guys don't care and have the time after this video, I'm doing a video series basically uh, documenting the history of fighting games. And I'm starting with the series Mortal Kombat, of course. Episode 2 just released the other day, Mortal Kombat 2. And uh, if you guys have time after this video, please check it out. Link is in the description and hopefully it was playing sometime during me talking here. Thank you guys so much. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this one. So we're going to go ahead and uh, yes, I I'm going to ramble a lot in this video. But first of all, we're going to break down this this piece of this article before we actually start rambling. So we'll get straight to the point, throw it up on the screen. Uh, why did you decide that an expansion was the right route for Mortal Kombat 11 instead of waiting to continue the story by way of sequel like we've seen in the past? Ed Boon said, at the end of the day, we finished Mortal Kombat 11, we kind of left it like a, hey, this story is over kind of thing. Our past few games we've had, we've always released uh, what some people refer as to like a game of the year edition that repackaged everything throughout the year in one package. With MKXL, we tried something new where we added four more characters like Alien Predator and some MK characters. And that was huge for us. That was an unexpected, oh wow, that was really big, really, really big. So from that standpoint, our first reaction was like, oh, let's one-up that, let's do... Uh, uh, that and then some. Story was the area that a lot of our fans loved that part of Mortal Kombat. The story mode, the narrative, and all of that stuff. So that was kind of like, oh, let's do that. Let's just hit really hard with a great addition, almost like an epilogue, final conclusion to the story. And so our main thing was we really wanted to drop this crazy bomb of content on the player as we had uh, that discussion about the story. We saw there's more potential that we can uh, tell for this, so we came up with a little bit of a Back to the Future uh, Part 2 synopsis. You go back in time and you see the events of it, and then you're changing the course of hi history. It ended up very cool. Okay, that was a mouthful. Here's where I start rambling. In nowhere here did he actually 100% say that we're not getting another story expansion for Mortal Kombat 11. This is a crazy idea. It started as an idea, it came to realization. Where he's talking about this idea was at the conception of the idea. Hey, let's do this, it'll be like an epilogue. He's speaking on the basis of before they even made the damn DLC, right? So he's talking about, hey, we have this idea, let's do it. It's like an epilogue, right? And then they write it, they write it, they write it, they leave it on this amazing cliffhanger that gives you a choice. Now, while I'm not saying that MK11 is definitely going to have an aftermath, aftermath part two, they definitely ended it in the way as to do so. They definitely ended it on a cliffhanger, a cliffhanger that could be followed up with characters that have been hinted at and teased since base MK11, such as Havoc, Natara, Serena, all of those characters that have been teased throughout MK11, MKX, and even Aftermath have the potential to show up. And if they're teasing such a big realm as, you know, Chaos Realm and Order Realm, wouldn't it make sense if they're going to have these realms show up, maybe do a story expansion with it? Look, Nether Realm has always went above and beyond for its community. Even if they don't communicate in the best, they've always pretty much delivered on what they've sent out you know pretty much everything we've gotten we pretty much enjoyed uh, in one way shape or form they really never let us down when it comes to most things and in my eyes it would be a huge letdown to get an aftermath or not even an aftermath to get a combat pack 3 with these huge characters that were teased to play such a big part in whatever story choice they end up going with from the end of aftermath now like i said this statement it, he's speaking in past tense past tense as in this is what our thoughts were when this started there's a million different things that could have happened from then to actual you know realization and release there's a million different things and one major thing did happen and that is the coof my dudes uh so that could have put a damper on so many different things injustice 3 was probably already in production or whatever they're doing next i'm assuming it's injustice 3 uh injustice 3 has probably already been in production they're already far enough along in that to actually be able to release it probably on schedule 
but or maybe delay it a little bit because of everything but starting an entirely new game like mortal kombat 12 following up on that story that's going to be a lot when you already have the basis and groundwork laid in mk11 to continue the story and continue the game's lifespan a little bit because of everything that is going on in the world so i think from then to now from may of 2020 to january 13th of 2021 i think a lot of shit could have changed and we can't we ultimately cannot rule out an Aftermath Part 2 as, again, this, this interview is almost a year old. So like I say on most things, we have to sit back and wait and see. But I definitely think so many different things have changed uh, over the past year, over the past almost year. I remember back in May, we weren't uh, in our houses without, you know, our control, if you know what I'm saying, YouTube algorithm, please don't hit me. Uh, you know, we weren't, we were, if we were in our houses, for the most part, it was due to our wishings and not to outside wishings. So, so many different things have changed, so many things that have uh, probably affected game development in general, and I really do feel like an Aftermath Part 2 would be a great, efficient way for them to actually continue Mortal Kombat without going through the struggle and the pain in the ass that it would be, and probably the impossibility that it would actually be to create a Mortal Kombat 12 with everything that's going on and even then even if it calms down everything's still gonna have to have like a, a, a readjustment a rebuilding time so i definitely would not rule out an aftermath part two he did not deconfirm to, uh deconfirm aftermath part two in this interview in no way shape or form and even if he was at that time so many different things have changed that you really can't take a year old work uh year old interviews work for it that's just my opinion uh and of course that's just a theory a moral combat theory uh, we don't know for sure uh, uh, about anything, of course, but we all are just left to like theorize and speculate about things because we haven't had any news, but hopefully that will change soon. Thank you guys for sending me this article, this piece of information, uh, and letting me know what was being said in the community. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please take the time out of your day to actually like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more Mortal Kombat videos like this, subscribe to the channel for daily fighting game videos. I really appreciate it, and it goes a long way to help us and keep us going. I really appreciate everyone who watched the video, regardless of whether you like or subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Also, a huge shout out to my supporters, Jay, Master of XPC, Sir D, The Thinny, Frank the Tank H2O, and Ricky Laughlin. You guys are fucking legends. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel again you guys keep us going in a big way as well i've been your host though my name is tootin thank you for watching the video stay safe out there i'll see you guys next time peace out